Friday. Is Happy Monday. Monday. Is, is it Monday? Monday the January Monday. the twenty fifth. Oh, you're good with the date. So, I never know what the date is. I think it's important to know the date. We're going to do the news. Uh, hi everyone. Thanks Hello. for the hearts. We did everyone? Uh, did, did the New Yorkers or the East Coasters enjoy the snow? Snow day. A lot of snow. A lot of snow. Um, no time off from work. No time off from work. No, it wasn't it a snow wasn't. day from work. It was a weekend snow. It was Gino. a snow day for Broadway shows, which is very, very right. rare. The show pretty much always goes on, but on Saturday, they no, they shut down the transportation, and at that moment, the show did not go on. The show did not go on. Um, so Tony Yazbek, who we love, who we love Tony, who is flying into Finding Neverland tomorrow, as yeah. we like to say, um, is hopefully stopping by. But you know, he's the streets. A, he's a true definition of a triple threat. Oh my god. I mean I mean have you ever seen that guy tap dance? Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Um he's not here yet, but the streets are very slushy. And they are it very takes slushy. a while to get around. And we can't risk that triple threatness falling over. We cannot Can you imagine if he, he fell over on himself. the way to live at five? You're Do you right. imagine how much trouble we'd be in? Spring Awakening did close and there was a lot of sadness. There uh, was. We don't do sadness, but we there was a lot of sadness, sadness online uh, about that over the weekend. So I'm sorry to all the Spring Awakening fanatics. I know there are many, many of you. However, What's the big news? Lily Cooper, who was in Spring Awakening yes, and Lily who Cooper. was Alphaba in Wicked, is going to be in the SpongeBob musical. No, okay, she's playing Sandy Cheeks. Now, I don't know SpongeBob. No, what does I don't that mean? either. What is that? Like, all of it seems very double entendre, and as we Brits say, a little bit dodgy, a little bit naughty, all these sort is of things. Is Sandy Cheeks a reference to like it's, what happens to like nudists I on don't, a beach? But or? It's also, anyway, she's playing <laughs> that, and then a newcomer, Ethan Slater, who was in Diner. Um, I know. How exciting is it when a, when a newcomer yeah. gets the lead anyway. in a Broadway musical? He's playing he's not, It's not Broadway yet. It's playing Chicago first. It's coming it's to Broadway. Broadway aimed. This show but is coming to here's Broadway. Here's the thing. So you may have been to Times Square and you think you've seen Spongebob, but you haven't. They're not going to be in Spongebob outfits like in Times Square. No, I hear it's very artsy. Yeah. Very artsy. It's not. Very artsy. This is going to be like what Julie Taymor did to Lion King. Yeah. This is what Tina Landau, who is She's a very inventive do. director, she is. is doing to Spongebob. So it's starting in Chicago when? Summer? It's like yeah, a, it's soon yeah, ish, yeah. Soon ish. So, uh, uh, yeah, congratulations, Ethan. That's Ethan. so awesome. It's That's, very I, awesome. I, it always, I, I love when we get news of a new show and we don't know the name of the star. Yeah. It's That's very always cool. exciting. Fresh blood. Speaking of fresh blood, Danae, have I said that right? Danae Benton is coming to Broadway to make her Broadway debut in Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812 with Josh Groban. Now that's the role that originally, it was originally played by uh, Hamilton. Hello, I'm, by, to I'm totally blank. Who's so who's good? It? You know her? Yeah, jo hello, Philippa Sue. Philippa Sue. Philippa Sue played that role. I'm, I literally had a mind blank. Philippa Sue played that role off Broadway. And she was yeah. wonderful. So I wondered if the timing would work that she'd be just done with Hamilton. And then can and, but, move but, to... Uh, no. can I, but she how do you say it? Danae, Danae Benton? Danae or Denise? Danae, I Danae. think. I don't know. Anyway, we'll so find Danae out. Anyway, so Danae is playing the role at ART. Right. So that okay. all seems to make perfect sense. Awesome. So, so what else happened? Awesome. Wayne Brady is leaving. He was the end of March. March 27th. Right. Uh, Noise is off. Uh, it's extending through March 13th. So uh, big hit. Extra That's a big there. hit for big Roundabout. Hit. Big hit for Roundabout, the American Airlines. Great reviews. It's a big old theater, that. Uh, Smart People has delayed its first preview by a day. That's that one with Joshua Jackson off Broadway because right. of the snow. So they well, didn't have enough time to rehearse. I mean, yeah, people rehearse. couldn't make it to their final yeah. tech problem. So that, yeah. that didn't really work. Yeah. Um, have a look at the site for Zendaya. Um, she, her Neverland, her cover of the song Neverland from Finding Neverland mm. is on. So fun video there. Um, and David Diggs, it's, odds and ends is not up today, but if you're a big David Diggs fan, Who basically it? it is David Diggs themed today okay oh. that's nice it's a lot he's doing a lot he's doing a lot. um uh somebody just asked about Aaron today's ask a star video that is going up soon i just watched a rough cut of it well it will go up this week because of course the big day i'm already planning it oh my god i'm it's, already planning my viewing we're, party we're under a day we're under a week under not a, week. a day we're Six. under a week for grace live and um the you guys did a culture list Paul, right? Did you guys do the culturalist poll about favorite Greece songs or best Greece songs? Anyway, that those results are coming up and I think Summer Nights won. Did it? Tell me more, tell me more. My favorite is the Rizzo one. Oh, there are worse things I could, I could do. do. I think it I came like in third. Rizzo. Oh, speaking of my Vanessa Hudgens interview, uh, Show People is back tomorrow and uh, my number one uh, 
question for her. I, that that is like literally one of my favorite songs. I agree I with know. you. That song is that was amazing. is incredible. Do you know it almost got cut out of the original? Apparently. That song. Yeah, and Stockard Channing. There was some drama with huh. Stockard Channing, and she had to fight. And um, yeah, but it huh. isn't. I think Stockard Channing's actually my favorite. That Rizzo is my favorite character in the movie. Oh, Rizzo's the greatest. She's just so cool. And it's funny because I wish I could be that cool. I'm never going to be that cool. Vanessa said that uh, she thought of herself as a Sandy. When they asked her to do it, she thought, well, yeah, I'm Sandy, right? And they were like, nope, <laughs> not anymore. Not after all the, she's done so she's many, done like, not. she's been, but she's done so many, like, adult movies yeah. since High School Musical. But you she's know what I mean? incredibly talented. I mean, seeing yeah. her Broadway, I also saw her in Gigi in Washington. I mean, she's incredibly talented. Yeah. And also very smart to interview. I've interviewed her a couple of times. She's, and you, you she's know wonderful, properly. honestly. Um, and she was so good in Gigi. It. She won a Broadway.com Audience Choice Award she for did. that. She did. Um, oh, somebody said they were from Australia. Who's out there from Australia? Someone here is from Australia. Um, maybe more than one. I just interviewed uh, Hayden T. How is Hayden who T? Who is Australian. And he's the new Javert starting. He said he starts rehearsals tomorrow. And then I think he starts Friday. Like, it's real quick. But he, he's probably he's played it. the role before. Yeah, he's so done it's in really, Australia. So it's, it's a thing of, you know, figuring out where he's standing. You know, just yeah. marking this. He hasn't even met the cast yet. He saw them in the audience. He watched it from the audience, and then he said he cried. He still cries when he watches Les Mis. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, it still gets to people. I agree. Kelly O'Hara should do roll call. I'm going to work on it. Thank you. That's, that's a good that, idea. That's a good suggestion. I like that idea. Um, um, did you like the Sutton Foster roll call, everybody? I love when she amazing. said that she gets, um, she's getting recognized for uh, younger in airport bathrooms. Um, Les Mis isn't closing on Broadway until the fall. You've got a long time to see Les Mis. So you're right, they have announced a closing date, but it's got a bit of time to run through. Um, and I mean, all revivals really have a limited shelf life. Um, so they've just announced when this is ending. And interestingly, Saigon that's coming in next year has already announced its closing date. It's here for a nice long time, but it's already announced. In London? Its no, here. Oh, it's a limited So it's a it's limited, limited engagement run. of over a year, I think, but it's still announced wow. a limited run and then it's going on tour. I, I think that's a good way of doing revivals because they saw, do have a limited time. I saw something on social media today. I think the London one is down to like the final 40 performances yeah. or something. But the two leads, who are incredible, are going to be coming here. They were amazing. They were amazing. Amazing. And now we just have to get like someone amazing to play uh, Chris. We have some ideas. It's we're some, some dream casting. We have some ideas. Chris. Um, here's another thing. Uh, Bernadette Peters is finally going to Scotland. Scotland. That's again in odds and ends today. Apparently she's never been to Scotland before. We're never Ryan Scotland McPhee. Before. Ryan McPhee, who works here, is obsessed with Bernadette Peters. Obsessed. So any news on Bernadette Peters is huge. And well, that, then that, he offered that's to write, not till June. He offered to write a 2,000 word essay. But I'm like, no, we don't need that. It's going to go in odds and ends today. I'm sure he'd be happy to go. I'm sure he'd be happy to fly out there too and check it out in Scotland, right? Maybe do we need it on the well, he, scene? I think we need to find some on, yeah, air miles or something. Do you love Julie Andrews, Imogen? Someone's asking. Of course I love Have Julie Have you ever Andrews. met her? I don't you think don't know. so. Maybe when you were a little girl. I might have done. I don't think so. Yes, think the girl from the Jimmy Awards is Miss Saigon. It, it is, is doing Miss Saigon on Broadway. Um, so, yeah. Gavin yeah. Creel, everybody. Uh, uh, right, well, I think they've probably had enough of us. <laughs> yeah. Don't you think, Paul? I think it's time to bring... I think it's time uh, to bring the star gonna, of the let's show. Let's bring the spectacular... And when we, the, puts the triple into triple threat. Yeah, you My introduce My word. Him. He's incredible. Uh, Tony Asbeck. Mr. Tony Asbeck. Come on over, Tony yeah. Asbeck. Yeah, so oh, I love the sound. Studio machine. audience. How are you? Hello. Hello. You Sorry. just made it. Yes, yes. The train systems in New York are I, just like well, crazy. That's right what now. I told everyone. I said, oh, you know, thank you for covering it's for very me. wet out there and messy. Yeah, out it's there. really. And then my express train was supposed to go past all the stops and it decided to go local. And the local trains went by me express. And I thought, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So that's, Look at that's that, that beard. Hi, guys. Look at you? that beard. Yeah. I get to. Have you done a beard? I'm trying to think. Have I ever seen you? No, maybe. It's been a long time. You always show off your, your very uh, handsome, know, pretty, pretty to, face. But now you're like, now I you're very. I get to not shave for a while. It's kind of nice in the morning. <laughs> and the hair always looks good. Look, yeah. everyone loves it. Everyone's loving it. Look, oh, at, you're nice. getting a lot of hearts, a lot of hearts. <laughs> um, uh, look, hi from Japan. You have a whole oh, new fan yes, base hi. in Japan yes, now. Japan. So wait, wait. Oh, first of all, the the first things ever. first. Okay. You are going into Finding Neverland tomorrow. <clears throat> tomorrow I start. How is that? I saw some. Uh, Carly Carmelo put some photos. You yeah, guys did like. Sweet. You guys did like a photo shoot. I think on Friday you did a run through, and I we saw. Did some photos. So I, I got a little sneak peek. 
yes, on social media. It's going really great. Everybody is so lovely. The cast is the most gracious company ever. Um, they put me in the show. I think I learned the show actually in like five days. So it was really fast and it's a big role. So uh, yeah, that's a big uh, you know, role. I hardly leave the stage show. It, it was a lot of work, but um, you know, this, this stage manager and the dance captain, they're just the best there is. So they just were so dedicated to put me in and uh, yeah, I'm just real grateful. I'm excited. Here's what I love about you. I love your career because your career is to me like the classic Broadway success story. Oh, thanks. I, I just love because you literally started on Broadway as a kid. Yes. In Gypsy. In Gypsy, 11 you, years old. Yep. You were a little Broadway boy. Yep. And you, you did that whole thing. Yep. And then we've seen you rise from small, I mean, literally like understudy, swing, ensemble work. Yeah, yeah. And, and I've seen you, and you've done, we've talked about this before, you've done like regional theater everywhere. Yeah, I've worked a lot of theaters. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah you, you, you've worked a lot. And, and now you're getting these leads and it's so exciting. It is exciting. And this one to me is especially exciting because you could say, like you did White Christmas, you right. did on the town. You got a Tony nomination. You were amazing, Gaby, and uh, but you could kind of say those were re those are roles that really needed like an amazing dancer. Like yes. not you couldn't just put anyone in. You know what I mean? You no, couldn't put you any Broadway actor. You actor'd. have to have a, a very classically trained uh, dancer yeah. and classically trained singer in those right. roles as well. Yeah. And but now this role to me, it's like. This is a great opportunity for you because it is. Th this is really like I get, acting, singing. I get first, to have my right? Scottish accent down, and uh, that's very exciting. Um, so um, that's that's great to be able to do a role with um, a different. I played Brits before. I've played an Irishman before, but I've never played a Scot. So that's kind of fun. Wow! And uh, it's a little more dramatic on yes. stage time. Yeah. Um, the book itself is just so gorgeous. It's it, to me when I first saw it, I thought. I told Diane, I said, this is a play with music, really. And, mm. and it's such a deeply profound play mm -hmm. to me. It talks, it speaks on such values, such family values and faith. And there are things that I, um, I love to, to uh, speak about on stage. So it was really exciting to, to put myself into it. And, you know, and he also sings a bunch and he dances as well. So I, I just thought, how, how fun to do this kind of uh, project. Um, Jay Crispy is commenting about how great your New York accent was on a chorus line. Which gives a little taste oh, of that. New York accent. Okay. Okay. Ow, ow. Oh, he's from the Bronx, so it's a little, you know, it's, it's down, it's, it's, it's very guttural in the, in, the, in, the, in the dirt. He's been around, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that guy. Um, that guy. I like that you guy. Know, he's from the Bronx, he's married, he's very <laughs> devoted to his wife. I'm not, to his I'm wife. not. <laughs> you know my wife. But uh, yeah, he's, um, he's, a, he's a good guy, he's a guy's guy. Uh, yeah. Which choreography is harder, On the Town or Funny Never? Well, On the Town has a lot more choreography. I mean, you, yes. there's a lot of dancing. On the Town had 10 minute ballets, and yeah, Finding Neverland doesn't quite have that. Ballet. But uh, there is a lot of choreo on Finding Neverland. And uh, what I found is it's very different things where I had like, like uh, foot things and ankle problems and back things and you know different injury things mm -hmm. and on the town that I had to push through and to th this time I'm realizing it's a little bit more like neck and shoulder type things because mm -hmm. I'm getting thrown around on stage and I'm getting tossed under my knees at the end of Act One and mm -hmm. stronger and and uh, those are those are all the things that uh, I have to look forward to now. <laughs> Did uh, Matthew Morrison give you any advice for the role? He was really Glam sweet. Glam wants to know. Uh, you know I I I asked him I said can you give me some insights on on the little Tinkerbell moments, and when you when you put that on, and you know I'm not going to give it away how it works, but but there's sort of magic in the show mm -hmm. with it all. I said, can you give me some secrets on how you perform those? So he he sort of showed me those things, and those are the things only he would know, which was great to, to talk to him about. And uh, he was very gracious, and I uh, I shattered him. Gosh, it might be third last Thursday just to see where he quick change and all those fast moments in the show where it's I, off stage and on with a new costume. I got to see uh, Laura Michelle Kelly last week. Yeah, and uh, she was telling me how much she already loves you and oh. uh, and and um, how, how lovely you were. Did you what's what's it been like getting to know her quickly? Uh, you learn you meet each other okay, quickly. Okay, real quickly. Yes, <laughs> the truth is I, I have. Absolutely everything amazing to say about Laura. She's really the most gracious actress maybe I've ever worked with. Um, from the beginning to the end, she just kind of cares with a, such a deep, open heart. And it's really genuine. And um, that's really refreshing. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think, honestly, anybody who's ever worked with this woman will say the same thing about her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell me, so when you... Tomorrow's your first performance. So what's going to go down in the next 24 hours? Will you be nervous? Or are you, do you, do you um, feel ready? Somebody asked or? me that the other day. I was like, are you going to be nervous? And I thought to myself, no, I'm not really nervous. Even though nerves are good because I feel like you can take those 
and you can realize that, oh, this, is, this means that you're supposed to be doing what you're doing, and you can take it and like hone it and just be excited about the fact that there's something huge going on in your life right now. So I've kind of decided to, over the last couple of years, take nerves and, and make it more of a positive thing for me. But uh, I'm just kind of anxious because I've been ready for a couple of days now, and mm -hmm. I'm ready to put the clothes on and have the lights hit me and, and uh, sweat a little bit on stage. Did you love the story of Peter Pan as a child, someone asked? Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't know how profound it was, though until maybe the last 10 years when I started to really research this. I think the first time- You haven't I... been researching this role for 10 years. No, no, no. Okay. no so I was but gonna I, say, you know... if you knew that 10 years ago, that's amazing. <laughs> no, but you know, I, I've seen a couple of regional productions of Peter Pan, right. just the play right. itself, which the play, the simple play itself is just so profound. And then when you put it to this music with Gary Barlow and Elliot Kennedy's mm -hmm. music, which they've written some beautiful pop tunes that are like circling the internet right now. They're all over the place. Um, and they're really they're really welcoming to me and being able to let me have my voice in it uh, personally. So, um, to, but to put but to put these tunes and that story together, um, I know by the second act, with especially the people that have seen the show, you know how touched you are by the end of the second act. So it's it's exciting to have a family show with these kind of values in mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Any other questions for Mr. Tony Yazbek? What do you do to warm up before a show, Isabel wants to know? Um, you know, I start with a physical warm up. Um, I always go physical first because when in doubt, if your body is relaxed and centered and you're breathing correctly, your voice will always be there, no matter what. Um, you can't push a voice and um, you have to let it go out with, with the breath and having the diaphragm where it is, you know, I'm getting really technical now. But um, I like to sort of start like on the floor and, and stretch my back first and then I go to my legs and, and uh, my arms and make sure everything's really warmed up and then I just do a slight vocal warm up and I let the show take me on its journey. What's it like working, Laura was telling me how much she loves working with the kids. How are the, how are the kids? Oh, the kids are like grown-ups. It's like, you know, you can have an actual adult conversation with them which is kind of what the show is about a little mm -hmm. bit. It's about the children becoming grown-ups and the grown-ups becoming children a little bit. But um, it, they're awesome. They, they really are. I was having, I have rehearsal. Uh, Christopher, one of the kids, came in uh, yesterday and had rehearsal with me and he's just the, the nicest guy in the world. And all of them, they're, they're really great kids and they love what they do. And none of them are like competitive or egotistical with what they do. They just love it. And uh, that's kind of refreshing. I don't Bro really remember that when I was a kid. <laughs> Broadway Boy wants to uh, know how nice Matt's dressing room is. That is now going to be your dressing room. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, str I'll straight up tell you. It is one of the nicest things I've ever seen in my life. Um, and I'm just using it for a while. So it's not like it's mine. I think it, it belongs to the Long Fontaine. And it has such history. Um, Mary Martin was in there, um, Elizabeth Taylor, wow. I think Carol Channing was in there. Nathan Lane, it was Nathan Lane's dressing room in the Adams family, and I mm -hmm. believe he decided to, if I'm not incorrect, with his own money, he decided to uh, build his own state-of-the-art bathroom with it, and then he oh. just left it in there. But yeah, you so, still get to uh, use that. Yeah. Thank thanks, you, Nathan. Thanks, Nathan. I really wow, appreciate thanks, that. Wow, thanks, Nathan. Hopefully I can have just a state-of-the-art, that doesn't mean it has like one of those toilets that like washes you, does it? It's no, not, it's not, not a bad. bidet, even though for my Japanese friends out there. I was just going to say, that's not Japanese. No, that, that's just like a, the norm for you. Wait, have you used it in Japan? Oh, yeah. Have you used one of those toilets? Oh, yeah. I'm so jealous of you right now. Oh, you've got the water that comes, you know, it just comes up there. How long do you sit on it? It's just a long, anyway. It's, Don't worry about that. How was Prince of Broadway? How was Japan? Wonderful. Was it, I mean, we have to wrap this up, but like, tell me quickly. Japan was wonderful. It had, uh, you know, just the best creative team in the world involved, and uh, being in the rehearsal room every day with those people was just like a dream come true. Um, you did a big dance in that. I, I, did I got a to see a run through huge, of it. Like seven, eight minute. Uh, you did it. It's called the Right Girl. Yeah. 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 From and Bali's. It was a lot of rhythm tap and emotionally connective. I love emotionally connecting tap to a number. It's something that's not done a lot. So it was that was really exciting to do. And Japan misses you. Gosh, I hope, I hope it comes to New York. Who knows? Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah. I hope so too because yeah. I want to see you do that yeah. too. Well, I'm so excited. You're back. Thank Funny you. Funny Neverland. Oh, you know what? I have an album coming out. I wanted to tell everybody. What? Maybe you guys, yeah, my live debut album? album. Yeah. Is it your live show? No, it's a it's a studio uh, recording of my live of my. Oh, live okay, show. cool. With some new new songs. What's it called? Back. When's it coming it's out? It's called The Floor Above Me. It comes out February fifth. I'm pretty excited about it. That's Check it awesome. out. Awesome. I didn't know that. Yeah. I can't wait to get it. Thank you. Really Did excited. I get an advance on that? Maybe. Sure. I mean, <laughs> I'll give I'll give you a copy. It's no problem. <laughs> Everyone says break a leg. Thank you. Everybody wants Come to check CD. out Finding Neverland. Thank Everybody, you guys. Uh, the Broadway.com Audience Choice Award winning favorite musical Finding Neverland, now starring this guy, Tony Yazbek. 
B E C K, not B U K. That's right. The That's, proper way. I learned that a long time ago. That's right. Uh, that's thank a, you so much for stopping by and braving the uh, the messy streets oh, on this ridiculous subway. Fix that, MTA. MTA. Thank you so much. Bye. See you Bye -bye. tomorrow.